Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Tanvi Arora, working here as a functional consultant. So in today's video, we are going to see the case scenario of holding companies investment in three subsidiaries with 100%, 70% and 60% ownership percentage. So we will go to our smart view. So I have already created my smart view and I have already defined my POVs as well. So my accounts are also defined and my movements are also defined. Also, uh, I will show the investment in the subsidiaries. So North 101 is my parent company and 102, 103 and 104 are my subsidiary companies. So basically North 101 has made investment in North 102 as 100%, in 103 as 70% and in North 104 as 60%. So we will see the effect of uh, investment and how it will get eliminated. So we will see the process of consolidation. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to input my figure here and just uh, refresh the data and submit it. So I will um, input the figures. Common stock is my share capital. I'll go to smart view and then submit the data to make our uh, difference as zero. It is taking some time. Okay, so you can see that the balance sheet uh, total is zero, assets minus liabilities uh, plus equity. So it is zero. And then I'm going to input data in my second entity. Debtors as 1,80,000. Bank as one lakh fifty thousand, common stock as two lakh fifty thousand, creditors as forty seven thousand, seventy five thousand, direct wages as twenty two thousand, and accounting overheads has uh, twenty thousand. Again, I will go and just uh, submit this. Okay, so the balance is zero, difference is zero. Now I will put figures into the third entity. Common stock as 1,50,000. Then creditors as one lakh twenty thousand, income one thirty five thousand, Now I will input the figures in the uh, fourth North one zero four. direct wages as 20,000 and finally accounting overheads as 35,000. 
we'll see whether it gets tallied or not. Okay, now I will define my investment in the three subsidiaries. So in North uh, 10, uh, sorry, in North 102, uh, the 101 entity has made an investment of 2 lakhs rupee, 2 lakh rupees. In 103, it is 3 lakhs. And in North 104, it is 4 lakhs. I'm going to submit my data again. So the data has been submitted. Now uh, we will uh, just go to our application and uh, define our ownership structure. Then we will recompute our ownership and then we will run the business rule of uh, consolidation. And after that, we can see the effect of consolidation. The investment in subsidiaries will be eliminated um, and the goodwill figure, the minority interest and retained earnings, we will calculate separately. So we will see. So this is the home page of my application. Now uh, I will go to application and under it, I will go to consolidation. From here, I'm going to see uh, my correct POVs. So I will see my uh, POVs first. Scenario is a plan. So I will change it uh, here. I will select plan. Year is uh, financial year 2015 and period is January. I'm going to select quarter one and then January. Fine. And I will define my entity here. I will select North uh, 100. Under this, uh, North 101, 10234, all are its children. The top level member is this. So now I'm going to uh, provide for the ownership structure here. I will search for my entity. Yes. So uh, North 101 is my holding company. So I will change uh, the status to holding and it is 100 percent. Then in North 102, uh, it is my subsidiary, but it has 100% investment. So North uh, 101 has made 100% investment in North 102. Then in the third one, um, it has made an investment of 70%. So I will uh, just change my ownership structure. This is my subsidiary. And this application automatically uh, calculates the minority interest, as you can see. This is the beauty of this application. Then in the fourth one, it is 60%. So automatically the minority interest will be will come to 40%. This is subsidiary. This is also subsidiary. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I will just save the changes. And after saving this, I will go to actions and recompute my ownership data. So my scenario is plan. Year is financial year 2015 and period is January. So it is correct and I will recompute this. Then in the next step, I will go to navigator and under dashboards, I will go to data. Under data, I will select data status. And then I will see whether my POV is correctly defined or not. Then I will search for my entity, whether the effect has taken place or not. See, as you can see that, one zero one two three four are impacted calculation status is showing impacted so the next step is to go to the actions and i will uh, run the business rule of consolidation so i will consolidate it and i will select my correct entity so total n 100 i want it 
click on OK. Now my entity is correct. Define the correct period. It is January. It is in the quarter one. Scenario is plan and financial year is 15. I will launch it. Usually it takes some time. Okay, so it is saying rule was run successfully. Fine. We'll go to our entities and see the impact. You can see the impact. It has uh, changed from impacted to OK. So our consolidation has taken place. Now the next step is to go to the smart view again and see the output, uh, the result of the consolidation. This is my output sheet. So I have defined everything. Now, uh, this is my um, um, main head company and 100. Okay. And the consolidation result will be shown here. Like uh, it will contain the uh, consolidation of uh, North 101, the parent company and all the subsidiary companies. So the total effect will be shown in the top level company here. And this, this column is for particularly for the eliminations. If I want to particularly see how much uh, investment has been eliminated, I will see in this column. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to define my correct POV. Just refresh it. Now, as you can see that the consolidation has taken place, you can see that our investment was 9 lakhs, which I showed it in the input sheet, 2 lakhs plus 3 lakhs plus 4 lakhs. So the total investment was 9 lakhs and uh, it has been eliminated. So it is showing the effect of elimination. And also, if we can see that uh, the total of the debtors, uh, the total amount of the parent and the uh, subsidiary companies has been um, summed up and it is showing here in the top level, consolidated entity. And we can see other members as well. So the sum is this. Also, total equity. If I calculate it, it is coming to 4,10,000. And this minority interest has been calculated. Now how this is coming, uh, we will see it separately in the calculation part common stock, we will take only of the parent company. So it is coming here, 2 lakhs. Then creditors, we can just uh, add these all. See, 2,92,000, it is coming to 2,92,000. And all other items we can add individually and it will come to this much. Okay. And the investment has been eliminated. So in the next step, we are going to calculate the goodwill, the retained earnings and the minority interest. Okay. So I will show you. Okay, so I'm going to calculate the goodwill, retained earnings and minority interest now. So I will uh, take my investment first. So I will link it with uh, this figure because the invest total investment in three of the subsidiaries is 9 lakhs. And my net asset will be uh, the total investment made in the share capital of the subsidiaries. So uh, what is my share capital? Uh, in the uh, North 102 entity, it has made 100% investment. So I'm going to take a complete amount of this. Then I will add the share capital of uh, subsidiary 3, that is North 103. The percentage of investment or ownership is 70%. So I will uh, provide for 70%. And then in the third subsidiary, it is 60%. Okay. 
So I have uh, already uh, put the formula here. It is uh, this minus uh, investment minus net asset is my goodwill. Uh, the goodwill is coming because the uh, holding company is paying extra to uh, acquire these subsidiaries. So it is coming like uh, goodwill. So it is paying extra. Now this three lakh ninety five thousand figure is tallying with my goodwill that is already. Uh, calculated by the system. This is auto generated. So this figure is tallied. Next calculation is of the retained earnings. So I'm going to total the re uh, total the retained earnings of the parent company as well as of the subsidiary companies. So now I will uh, calculate the retained earnings. So the retained earnings basically would be the total retained earnings of the parent company and the subsidiary companies individually. So parent company retained earnings is 22,000. Then retained earnings of subsidiary 1 are 33,000 uh, because the ownership percentage, the investment is 100%. So we are uh, going to take the whole uh, amount, 33,000. Then in subsidiary 2, it is 5,000. But uh, the investment percentage is... Uh, like the ownership percentage is 70%. So I will make 70% of this. And for subsidiary 3, 5,000 into 60%. Because my ownership percentage in subsidiary 3 is 60%. So it is coming to 61,500, which is getting tallied with this figure, which is automatically calculated by the application. So I'm going to highlight this one. And now uh, minority interest uh, came into picture because the investment was uh, 70 and 60%. So the rest share is of the minority people. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to provide the share of subsidiary 2. Now minority interest would not be calculated in the uh, subsidiary 1 because it is 100% investment. So there is no um, chance of minority uh, ownership. Okay. So, um, the rest percentage is of the minority people. So, I'm going to uh, go to the common stock that is the share capital. So, not in the first case because it is 100% investment. I will take 1,50,000 and 60% uh, investment was of the holding. So, rest 40% is of the minority. Similarly, for the subsidiary 3, my share capital is 2,50,000 and rest 30% is of the minority. Then I will also add their retained earnings share. So I will uh, click link it with the retained earnings figure 5,000 into their share that is 40 percent and also the last entity 5000 into the share is 30 percent as we can see that uh, the total of uh, minority interest is 1 lakh 38500 and my minority interest is 1 lakh 38500 so all these figures have been calculated and the elimination is shown here. So uh, that's all. Thank you so much.